Yet another I only mentioned in passing last year, but this time I'm not going to recant that this isn't in my top 10. It's still not. It's strange, kind of stupid at points, and the animation is... well... It kinda isn't. Like, it's just stills with fades between each. This is like something some YouTuber who doesn't know how to animate would do when he was making a Halloween special video reviewing some old as age itself piece of animation no one but him has ever heard of, and couldn't find it in any good quality or without subtitles of a language he doesn't understand or know what it is. You know, something like that. But this isn't YouTube. This was televised. This was sold on VHS. I guess it was just okay to have this low quality animation in... 1983, really? So the basic plot is super simple. The bears of Bear Bank are scared by the potential that they might get invaded by something coming from the nearby Monster Mountain. But they're neither sure of what will come, if anything, or what they'll even do if they do. Though Ted E. Bear, Hardy Har, is probably the most woke of them all. Well, I, I don't understand why people are afraid of something they don't understand. This is even a good message in our current times. So due to his perceived bravery from the other bears, he swept up and contracted to act as reconnaissance on Monster Mountain and what may or may not be up there. Metal Bear Solid. Yet again, Hans Conried is voicing a character in an obscure Halloween special as Dr. Werner Von Bear. Just thought I'd mention. Yeah, we don't know much about this Monster Mountain. No, there could be something up there that poses no danger to anyone at all. On the other pole, there could be nothing up there. No army in the world can adequately prepare for an invasion of nothing. Despite the fact that they're going for this fear of the unknown angle, there really is something in Monster Mountain coming to invade. Monsters, go figure, led by Count Dracula himself. And that is the one weapon that will conquer the world. Fear. I'd be right with you there, Drackey. I'd say you were honestly an ahead of your time villain, if you weren't kind of a joke. There must be an easier way to conquer the world. Oh well. <laughs> So much so that after he goes to check on the situation in Bearbank, he's stuck in vampire form and has to walk back to Monster Mountain, getting a ride to near the entrance from Ted. Monster Mountain is full of all sorts of different kinds of monsters, with all sorts of interesting designs. I just wish I could have found some more clear footage so I could get a better look at all of them. I use the word interesting, but what I mainly mean is weird. Though I don't know if you can consider a cat a monster. I do love the sounds it makes, however. Now, the bear is here. Right, boss. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather not. The moral of overcoming the fear of the unknown is very prevalent in this special. The catalyst being the citizens of Bearbank going into a complete panic over what they don't know, and Ted questioning throughout the first half of the special whether or not lack of information is scarier than the actual facts. Coming to a head when Ted realizes that the monster's powers of fear are dependent on the lack of information and understanding. The fear of the unknown for us is pretty hard to overcome. After all, that's what gives so much of horror media its power, especially Lovecraftian horror. But given truths, you may find that something you perceived as scary through your own lack of understanding may not be as scary as you made it out to be. Yeah, but, but you know, you, you're, you're not you're not frightening. The part of you that's real isn't frightening yet, and the part of you that isn't real is in my mind. And it's only as scary as I make it. <laughs> He's got us figured out. Also, I want to talk about Ted's stutter. It's eerily accurate to how someone who really has a stutter speaks. Trust me, I have to listen to my own voice for hours and editing stuff like this and of course my Let's Plays. I'm not sure if Ted's voice actor had a stutter and they just gave that trait to Ted, or if that's a character trait of Ted himself and his voice actor is really good at recreating the vocal patterns of a stutterer. I honestly don't know what the feeling I have about it would be called. Definitely a good feeling though. I would like to see more characters in media with an accurate stutter. So monsters invade Bearbank, and the citizens armed with the knowledge of the monsters fight them back in a number of humorous ways. Certainly doesn't help that the monsters are just as inept as their leader. Hello, hello! I'm here to conquer the world! And due to their rule of having to be back to Monster Mountain by midnight, the monsters are defeated and retreat. But not before Dracula gives us one last ominous statement that was never followed up on. Monsters would rule the world if it weren't for teddy bears. I wonder what would happen if we just once stayed out past midnight. <laughs> just wonder. So the world is safe from the monsters another night, but who knows when the monsters will come again, ready to take over the world through fear, and we'll continue to battle them with knowledge and understanding. Oh, come on, Teddy. It took bare courage to battle those monsters and save the world from nothing. <laughs>